2009 NAM convention. And you know what? We've got something super cool coming up, something that you've been waiting for. We have Mr. Dave Mustaine here at the Dean booth. He's been signing autographs. We're getting ready to talk to him in just a second, but first, I want you to check this out. My man, Dave Mustaine. How you doing? Great. How are you? Good. I saw a huge line around the building. I mean, I came in this direction. I was like, line. I'm like, you know, who's here? You know, and then it's you. Everyone's in the in line waiting to see you. Thanks. Good to see you. So, how have you been? I'm uh, really good. We're working on a new record. We're actually in the studio right now. Um, Sean just finished his drum tracks recently, uh, as much as uh, as early as yesterday. I think we're going to have him come back and do one more track just because so we're safe. And uh, we, we've just about ready to start doing uh, guitars and, and bass. So this is kind of a great distraction for us to get out of the studio and come down here and see all the beautiful people here, like yourself, oh, and, you. and you know to see about contracting multiple diseases. <laughs> <laughs> good times, good yeah. times at the NAMM show. But listen, I think what everyone is super excited to hear about is you've got some new models this year that are coming out, and uh, just tell everyone what you got kicking. Uh, well, this is the new Rusted Peace model. It was a surprise to me, and Elliot had made this and, and presented it to me. I was really excited. It plays as great as all the other um, VMNTs do, and it just looks really cool. Um, it doesn't mean you're going to be cool if, if you have it. You'll just look cool. <laughs> oh, it looks awesome. That's amazing. No, but it's, a, it's always an exciting moment when you come out to the booth and, and you've got, you know, like I said, all the kids are here. And I, one of the things I really respect is, like, you really take the time to, like, you know, wait till every last kid is ready to like have a signature and like, you know, it's, it's super, super cool. It's yeah. awesome and from a fan's perspective, but it's cool. Well, cool. So what do you got kicking this year about with, uh, you got Gigantor. Then um, you guys have any lineup plans for that or like what's going on with that or any announcements? Well, right now what we're looking at is trying to finish as much of the record as we can. We leave in the beginning of February to start a tour over in Europe with Judas Priest called Priest Feast. It's, uh, Featuring uh, us with Judas Priest closing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's Judas Priest and then us and then Testament. And um, we have uh, some, uh, I think that's about a six week tour we're going to be doing. And, and then come home, gather up our resources and get ready to go out on Gigantor again. That is if we don't finish the record. Uh, if, if we don't finish the record in time, we're going to come back and have to complete it, obviously. Right. But if we get it done in time, we're going to be doing Gigantor in the summer. Well, it's always good to see you, and this is like a, like I said, a very fun like R and R to be able to kind of hang out and, you know, press flesh, so to speak. I was just saying, you smell very nice today. Like, <laughs> it smells like cotton candy. It's very nice. Thank you. That's not what it is. <laughs> but um, and then um, so I also know that you've got like some internet stuff that you've been doing. You have like a little is a like a, it's like a a site that you put together. You want to tell us about that? You mean about the live line? Uh -huh. uh, well, that's basically uh, it's an idea that that. It's, it's not anything new. It's basically talking to artists that you like, but it's using the technology of the internet to be able to get messages with your phone, text messages, voice messages, and and stuff. Uh, you know, it's 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 not like I said. It's not a new idea. It's just making it more convenient for you to be able to talk with the bands that you like. Super so, cool. So I think I heard. I just heard your phone going off too. Yeah, you, you must did. Must be getting some. You did. <laughs> well, awesome. It's really really great to talk to you. Um, what else is going on with you guys? Like, um, I know that, that you're, you know, we've come, like, your drummer comes out and he kind of hangs out with us once well, in a while. We have a fun time. For some of you that, that are watching, you know that Sean plays D Drums, which is one of the companies that, that are part of Armadillo. And he's, he should be here uh, somewhere. James, if you look right over the, the fence right over here, you'll see a very, very lonely little teeny booth with James there at Roto Sound signing one autograph. And uh, Aww. I, I'm going to go down there and make it too, but. Um, <laughs> After that, we, uh, like I said, we're going to go back to the studio, try and see what happens. Um, if, if we don't make it to Gigantor this year, we'll be doing festivals next uh, next summers. But I mean, the most important part right now is to be here and to support the company, Dean Guitars Rules, and, and I'm just glad to be part of it. That's cool. Well, what? Let me ask you this, just really, because I'd like to know this. Like, what brought you, you know, over to Dean? 
you know, because, you know, obviously, you know, you were playing other guitars for years, and, like, you, so at some point you made a decision to, like, you know, move over to, you know, the dean side, get your wings. Um, well, a lot of that had, had to do with, I, I was planning on going back to Jackson after I left ESP because I, I just wasn't really feeling, you know, the, the relationship wasn't there with, with ESP. And I never wanted to leave Jackson. I, I loved it there. I planned on buying the company a couple times. It just was a little weird when they were acquired by Fender. So that's when I went to ESP. When I left ESP, I was going to go back to Jackson, like I said, and Dean found out that I was a free agent and made an offer, and, and the guitars are fantastic, the people here are great, and, and it was just the right thing for me to do at the time for me to, to have some, some new opportunities. Well, that's awesome, and I, I know that you've got you know, a few models now on Dean, and I believe you have like a USA model as well as you have, you know, like I said, the Rust in Peace, and, um, and the United, United Abominations, tell us about that. The record or the guitar? <laughs> the guitar. Uh, well, each one of the guitars basically, th th there's not really that much difference between the guitars right now. Uh, unlike some of the other artists that play Dean guitar, they'll have different models. I just have different images on the guitars right now. We have different price entry points for the guitar players. Like for a uh, professional like myself, you have the, the professional guitar, which is you know the top of the line. And then for people who are just starting, like we all do, uh, there's the entry point guitar, which is really affordable. And, and that guitar, the quality of that guitar is better than a lot of other guitar companies' mid-range price models. So I, I, that's, that's one of the reasons why I decided I was going to come here, because you can go and take a guitar off of the shelf in, in, a, in a music store if you're on the other side of the world. And, and you know the guitar's got the same quality. Yeah, I think that one of the things when I think about Dean, I also think of like value for money in the sense that, like you said, is like when you get a guitar, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, a $6,000 guitar, but you're getting such quality at lower price points, and like, it allows kids to get in, like get a guitar that stays in tune, it has good intonation. The, the most important thing, too, is the customer support. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have the greatest guitar in the world, and if you call up there and they don't return your calls, it doesn't matter, because right. basically all you've done is you've bought a very expensive guitar that doesn't work. You know, for me, whenever anything's gone uh, wrong with any of my gear, the people that I work with, I like having that relationship, and Dean has great customer support. That's awesome. Do you foresee, I know that you're talking about, like, with these guitars, that the difference is mainly the artwork, but do you foresee yourself making some, like, really drastic changes in terms of, like, things that you kind of, like, envision for yourself, for the shape or the tone? Not, not at the moment right now. This, this works. Uh, I'm, I'm totally open to different ideas and stuff like that with... Uh, Elliot and the, and the uh, research and development team at Dean, but for me right now, this is what's working. Uh, I'm so, totally open to new designs, new uh, images, and stuff like that. But for for now, for me, this is where I'm comfortable and I'm safe at. Well, that's cool. And you know, the the thing is, is like for me, as like you know, a fan, and like you know, we, with Jenna Tortures, obviously we have our uh, we have our Demonator base. I was just not really aware, you know, of the fact that like Dean also makes pickups. And the fact that it's, I think it's kind of cool, the fact that you're not only making the guitar, but you're like really like making the pickups. Have you, um, like, what is your thoughts on, on like pickups? And do you have your signature pickups, or have you thought yeah, about but that? It's not from Dean, though. Okay. So, uh, that's from Seymour Duncan. Okay. So, it's probably not uh, the right time to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> I love my pickups. Uh, it's just, it's a different company. Well, listen, been really nice talking to you. It's always fun. I, uh, I remember, like, had a really nice time the first time I saw you guys uh, when you brought the mis the reunited Misfits back up. And I remember I got up on stage and, and sang with the Misfits, and we hung out a little bit, and I was like, man, that's so cool. I've always thought that was really neat that you had kind of this love for, like, not only metal, but also punk. And you, I know you've, like, you've got, you got some, some punk rock in you, too, which is cool, cool, awesome. So anything else you want to let people know about what's kicking with you? No. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. And if you don't have a Dean, you're a loser. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> awesome. Well, awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out, and thank you for coming and talking to us. Oh, great to see you. We're going we're gonna to cut, and we're going to go have a little bit of fun and get back with you in a few minutes.